It was a happy meal after a grueling poll campaign ending on a winning high for former Congress Chief Minister Siddharamaiah. It's a big victory to Congress party. The people of Karnataka wanted a change because they were fed up with BJP government. Believer in social justice and a family man is how the Twitter profile of Siddharamaiah describes him. The 75-year-old heavyweight was born into a Kurba family in a small village of Mysore. From grazing cattle as a young boy in the village to the top echelons of state politics, Siddharamaiah has come a long way. With no formal school education to begin with, he later went on to study law at the prestigious Mysore University. It was in 1983 that Siddharamaiah contested his first assembly election on a Bharatiya Lokdal ticket and won the Chamundeshwari seat to enter the Karnataka Assembly. Two years later, Siddharamaiah joined the Janata Party and stayed on for two decades with one faction or the other as the original Janata Party fragmented. Deep rooted in the Janata Parivar, Siddharamaiah was known for his anti Congress stance. But in a turn of events in 2006, he decided to join Congress when he was expelled for differences with his mentor and then JDS chief H.D. Devagada. This decision played a pivotal role in his political career. More than a decade and a half later, he once again aspires to become the chief minister of Karnataka before he retires from electoral politics. Because there was a threat by the BJP to the secular fabric of the state. There was a hate politics. The people of Karnataka are not tolerating hate politics. On May 13th, 2013, Sri Kantirava Stadium was buzzing with fanfare and celebrations. There were 50,000 people who had gathered there. They had come to witness the swearing-in ceremony of the 22nd Chief Minister of Karnataka. The one who would lead the state after the Congress swept to power with a comfortable majority. Siddharamaya was being sworn in as the CM of Karnataka. Siddharamaya's CM ambition dates back to the time when the JDS chief H.D. Devagauda expelled him from the party. Siddharamaya then held the portfolio of a deputy. He went on to become the longest serving deputy CM in Karnataka's history. He was tired waiting in the wings for his chance to come and his unapologetic desire to be the CM was seen as conflicting with the party's rising star and Devagauda's son, H.D. Kumaraswamy's ambitions. This paved way for his bitter exit from JDS. Over the years, Sidramaya's politics was shaped by ideas of Lohia and Ambedkarite Dalit movements. After his expulsion from the JDS, Sidramaya had toyed with the idea of forming his own party with mainly minorities and backward classes base. But then he decided to join the Congress. Today he plans to play the pivotal role for the grand old party in the coming general elections. This result of this election will be a stepping stone for the coming Lok Sabha election. I also hope that Rahul Ji may become the in his rise to political prominence, Siddharamaya had positioned himself as a leader of the backward classes, and it helped that he belonged to the powerful yet backward Kuruba community. In Siddharamaya, 
Congress has the best mix of experience, a cross-platform, public acceptance as a leader, and political acumen of a statesman to guard and protect the just-won Karnataka bastion with a thumping majority.